All right, let me pick up for part two of the of the box model we're about to do with this. Well, I'm still in the box.html file. And here's like I, I would like for you to do something for me. Um, if you could, please, if you can go um, onto your eCampus website, and I have a class exercise underneath it. If you go to class exercise and you find class exercise number five, CSS box model, there's a folder. Inside of that, I have a file called the Clematis Clem Clem um, flower. It's a flower, right? But if you click on it, it looks like this. All right. If you can right mouse click on it and save this image to you, the drive that we're working in right now. Um, so that way we can actually have something to work in with it as well. So I'm going to find the folder that we're working in right now. Um, I believe today is the 220. Have we created today's day yet? No, we didn't. So I think I'd still have this on my another one. Uh, my desktop, I have a sandbox. I have um, I made, and this is the one that's 02620, which is what is today that we've been working in. I want to put this in a subdirectory called create a subdirectory called IMG, like anything else with it. All the graphics goes into a separate directory with it. And I want to keep this file name the way how I saved it as with it as well. So I'm going to click on save with it. So that's what it looks like. So I just want to show you what this looks like with it. Um, I'm on my, let me show you what this looks like. Inside of that, I have a folder called IMED 1316 today's date and this is the box HTML that's on the code but inside that this is what the flowers look like right now okay can you see that and what I since we're here let me show you something um, I like for you to right mouse click on it and come down to properties of that file that we just downloaded and it looks like this so it is a JPEG file but here's the name Clem Clematis four underscore big and there's a file extension dot jpeg but what's more important that we look for in here is the width and the dimension for this file with it so if you went over to details and you scroll down it will tell you here's the width of that flower so this is 350 and the height is 263 pixel so this is where you find the information of the file uh, the width is 350 and the height is 263 now why is this important because we want to create a box, a model box that actually is the same size as this image. Okay, that's why I want to show you this. So we're going to create a box, and we have to calculate that box with everything that we just did to match the width of this flower, which is 350. That's what I want to do with it. Okay, so let me let me leave this with it. So come over, and if you could for me. And and if you can could um, if you could look at this right here, and we need to actually put the image in for the image, and I'm going to do S R S R C source, and I want I need to tell it to be in an image directory forward slash, and it picks up my flower name. Now inside of this, like anything else with it, right? Um, I this is the box I need to configure this, and we said the width is um, um, 350 pixel wow. close that off and then we do the height it was 263 okay 263 pixel okay so of course I need to put in an alt text uh, to describe that, right? This is called the clematis. Um, wow. okay. And let's make sure this appears on what we are looking at right now with it. So where is that mouse? I'm going to drag this down here a little bit, and this is what it looks like with it as well. So um, Control S saves this. And if you could for me, come on over here and, and if you could right mouse click on it. And if you can open up a browser or open up a live server, it's either one of them. And it looks like this. And underneath this, underneath this is where I'm going to create a box with this. Now remember the width of this box is 350. So you have to calculate this the, the box that you're about to put in. This would be the same width of this box with it. Alright. 
if you look at this other box that we have, let me, let me just move this over here so you could see some of the stuff that we have over here with it as well. So um, let, me, let me see this code over here. And I'm, let me scroll up here. The old, this div tag is for this. So what I need to do is to calculate the width of this box. Now, the sum of this width right here, we have to add all this up. So this margin, let's say I do a margin of zero, for example, all right? And I'm going to come in, I'm going to put the border, if this border right here, when instead of doing five, 15, I'm going to drop that, that down to five, and move this a little bit so we can have a little, there we go, perfect, that's much better. So I'm going to do five with it. And then I'm going to actually do the other one is, uh, let's say, let's drop this, make this 320, okay, 5. And the other number I want to make is the padding of this needs to be, what, 10. All right. So um, here is a box that we, we just put in here. Now, uh, how, now, now again, remember now that width of that photo is, what, 350 is the width. I have 320 as the width, the border is 5, and the padding is 10, and the margin is 0. Did you see how I calculate this out to be 350? Because it has to, the, the padding on the width has to count twice. So this right here will count twice, means 20, right? This right here will count twice, will mean what, 10? So, because the padding on both sides here, all right. So this is the padding on this side here. So let's let's do something. I want I want to do something over here. I want to take a, some text at the bottom here with it. So I'm going to use the div tag this time, and then I'm going to come in. I want to say um, the um, let's let's um, let's say something the picture. Above is 350 pixel wide. The total with this element is also 350 pixel. So if I did this right, right? So if I did this right, there will be a text box underneath here, and it should fit this exactly as well. So I'm going to do Control S saves it. There it is. So automatically, look at this, the top box and the bottom box now conforms exactly the width of this box right here. Now here's what I want you to do. This is very important with it. I want you, um, in this next exercise, I want to give you some images up here. You're going to download and I want you to create that text box to make it fit what we just did here. Similar exercises as, this, as well. So um, underneath this, let's just do a horizontal rule line like this and we just do that and if we save control s save it puts a live server for us and puts that line now underneath this under I'm put a paragraph tag all right please uh, do the following Exercises. And I want. I'm going to show you this. All right. So I'm going to let's pause the video for a second.